Hello there. My name is Sergey Virkiev. I'm a software engineer, and I'm also passionate about language learning. Uh, today, I want to share with you uh, my uh, one of my pet's projects, the main goal of which is to extract parallel corpora from two texts. Or in other words, uh, we want to align these texts together. The idea of this project came into my mind uh, during the Russian-Chinese Machine Translation Challenge this year, uh, where I managed to take the first place. And uh, although this tool is in beta version now, it's already used by uh, Russian-Chinese parallel corporate team of the Russian National Corpus. It's a great team. You should definitely go check their page. Uh, parallel corpora can be used as an input data for various uh, machine translation tasks. It also can be used as, uh, as data in uh, linguistic researches or simply as a resource for uh, language learning, uh, in my case. As an input, we have two raw texts. Uh, at this slide, you can see uh, Le Petit Prince. Uh, it's a little print in French and uh, the, its translation into English language. And it's obvious that the first place in French text doesn't correspond to the first sentence in the English text. And we want to align these texts together, uh, something like this. Uh, the tool is using sentence embeddings models. Uh, in two words, it's a projection of the sentences into the vector space. And the vector space by itself is built in uh, such a manner that the more similar sentences will be projected, will be projected into the uh, vectors with the uh, closer distance. Uh, these are more the most popular uh, libraries for uh, getting this, uh, getting such embeddings. Uh, I, me personally prefer Sentence Transformers library because the inference is uh, quite good and is quite fast, and the sentence embeddings are just great. And as you see, uh, the recent uh, model by Google uh, supports more than uh, 100 of languages, 109. Wow. Uh, technically, it's a web application. So it consists of uh, backend and frontend parts. So I've put uh, both part parts into the Docker container. Uh, so if you have Docker installed on your computer, you can simply run these uh, two commands, pull and run, and start your applications on your laptop. So let's start the demo. Uh, let me switch the screen. So the application is started. Uh, we see at the top of the page uh, two upload forms. So we need to upload our texts. Uh, as I said before, the input text, uh, it's a uh, raw text. It can be uh, not even split uh, into the sentences. So let's try to upload them. Uh, French text. It's a little prince in French. And the little prince in English. I'm pushing upload button. And we see that uh, the texts are split using the uh, language specific rules. Uh, so uh, the texts uh, are obviously not uh, aligned. Yeah, we see that clearly. And uh, I'm pushing the align documents button. So alignment process is started. The alignment process is going batch by batch. Uh, we're not cal calculating the sentence embeddings for the whole text at one time because uh, the text may be huge. It can contain uh, thousands and thousands of lines. And because it's a demo, we will align uh, the first uh, 100 lines from both texts. Uh, during the alignment process, um, we will see the visualization of, of, uh, of the alignment uh, when it's done. So the batch one is complete. We're waiting a couple more seconds for the second batch. Yeah. Uh, we see that uh, the most um, uh, the most uh, pairs was matched uh, just perfectly. Uh, perhaps uh, too good. Usually it's not so good. And we see that every pair has a coefficient of similarity. 
Uh, from this point, we have two scenarios. We can simply set the threshold, uh, the higher the threshold, uh, the lower amount of uh, pairs will be saved. And we can download uh, either French or English uh, corpora with the uh, 93 sentences, or we can uh, download the whole corpora as a, a TMX format. The, the TMX format is an XML. It can be used as an export uh, format into the other uh, alignment applications. So we see that uh, the corpora is uh, quite good. Uh, the second scenario is uh, looks like this. We're setting the threshold to zero, so no threshold. Uh, that means that uh, the whole sentence will be saved. And we are investigating what is going wrong. For example, we see uh, that the second sentence, uh, the sixth sentence in French text, actually contains uh, two sentences in English. And by pushing the this button, we see the more the most uh, similar candidates for alignment, and we can edit both French and English texts. Yeah, the corpora was saved. We can check it by downloading it. Yeah, here is two sentences instead of one. We're going back to the our application. Uh, one more thing. Uh, the application now supports 10 languages. So uh, let's try something more exotic. Uh, let's try to align Russian and Chinese texts. So I'm uploading Master and Margarita by Bulgakov. It's a famous Russian classic in Russian and in Chinese. So we see that uh, texts again was were splitted by sentence. And I'm pushing the align documents button. There is a lot of uh, things and improvements I want to add to this application. For example, uh, the next thing I want to add the proxy texts. It will be a machine translated uh, splitted text. So for every uh, for every sentence during alignment, uh, you can see the translation translation of it into your native language. It will be very helpful when you're dealing with the language or languages. Uh, you're not uh, too good or don't know at all. So we see that the alignment alignment process is going. So there are some outliers and we will wait a couple of more seconds. Uh, the alignment is finished. Now we see the matching pairs. We see that uh, there is still a lot of uh, a lot of work to align it uh, by your hands, by but the most part of it was uh, extracted automatically. And as earlier, you can set a threshold and download uh, download the corpora under your computer. Uh, so that's it. I hope that that, uh, that it was uh, some kind of interesting or maybe even helpful for you. Uh, so uh, go and check the GitHub page, start it, fork it, make pull requests, be safe. Thank you and bye-bye.